Real talk, I've been a bit overwhelmed as an entrepreneur lately. I've been feeling it with my productivity, with the quality of work, how I'm responding to certain things, how my body's responding back. And this is not something bad. Feeling overwhelmed is completely normal emotions that human beings feel. Where it becomes dangerous is when you don't notice that you're maybe in a higher state of anxiety or nervousness and that takes over. That's why I was looking at certain tricks and methodologies that I can do to get back on track. I looked at what did I do previously when situations like this came out of my life and I studied some other things that I could start implementing to really get back and really dominate what I need to dominate. That's why in this video, we're gonna talk about five things that entrepreneurs can do to stop feeling overwhelmed. Coming up. If you're new here, my name is Christopher Dede and welcome to my channel, No More Place for Peak Performance, Entrepreneurship, and Personal Growth. So the first thing we can do to stop feeling overwhelmed is take a deep breath. Now, this is something that you probably heard of before, but you don't practice it consistently. And I was doing exactly the same thing. But when you take a step back, when you're feeling a bit overwhelmed and take a diaphragmatic breath, which is essentially a belly breath, it relaxes you in such a high level. Because in fact, what's happening when you are a bit more anxious, overwhelmed, your breathing pattern is shortening and your heart is beating a lot faster. So by taking a deep breath, it allows your body to slow down the rhythm and it sends signals of relaxation so much more than being overwhelmed to your brain. And one way to go about this or other ways to go about this is through meditating, yoga, and other practices alike. Now, a couple of videos that I've talked about or I've done previously on this channel that really talks about this is one on the meditation, which I'll link up. And furthermore, was a book review that I've done on Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty that talks about certain breathing techniques that could be interesting. So go check those out as well. The second thing I did to diminish my overwhelm is start writing things down. As you write things down, it diminishes the cognitive pressure that you may have of tasks that you think you need to do. So as you leave it in your brain and you don't write things down, your brain is gonna make you kind of play trick on you and make you believe that the things that you have to do are so much longer, so much bigger, so much more tough than it actually needs to be done. But once you start writing it down on your to-do list, you realize that, oh, wait a minute, this thing that's worrying me is really one, two steps that I need to get done and that really helps you out to really vision it and go towards it. Furthermore, as you're writing it down, like mentioned, your cognitive pressure diminishes. So you leave room for your brain to be more creative, more productive, and think about other things instead of thinking about what you need to get done. If you see there's some value within this video so far, don't instead at all to give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the bell notification to find out when our weekly videos come out. So the third thing to do is problematic tasks. You have to be able to see what are certain tasks that you're doing that are creating more overwhelm than others. Because the reality is there's maybe one or two things within what you're doing that's gonna give you higher levels of overwhelm. It's not everything. So once you're able to pinpoint those tasks, you look at them and then you start telling yourself, is this a necessary task? If it's not, eliminate it completely. But if it still is, then try to see if you can delegate it or batch it in a way that's not overwhelming when you do it. For me, I'm a huge fan of delegation. If you're in a position that you can delegate, especially there's a lot of tools out there nowadays that you could delegate work that's not expensive at all or very affordable, I would highly suggest you to delegate those works. Now, if you wanna know more about delegation, how to go about it, I've done a full video on how to delegate effectively, which I'll link up as well. So start pinpointing those activities that are creating more overwhelm, delete them and delegate them. The fourth thing to do to feel less overwhelmed is change your perspective. Now, maybe you're going through a time within your life right now that financial is a bit more difficult. Maybe you lost a big client with a contract. Maybe you're having argument with your colleagues, with your bosses, so on and so forth. And that creates massive overwhelm. It's completely normal. But an activity that I do to really reframe myself is change my perspective. So imagine the example of a customer just drops a contract and it comes out of left field. You don't notice it and it's a big financial contract, right? Now that's one scenario. Then I change my perspective and I think about would I rather lose this client or would I rather this client come to me and say, you know what, I love what we're doing together. Let's double the work, which is gonna bring double more money. But counterpart, you have a close family member that tells you they have cancer and extremely dangerous, right? So by me changing this perspective, looking at these two dichotomy of scenarios, you ask yourself, what is, 
really matter here? Does it really matter that I lost the contract? Or does it matter that all my family is healthy, that everybody around me is good? And that's by changing that perspective, it diminishes my overwhelm. So instead of thinking about the contract I lost, I'm like, yo, it's cool, we're blessed, we're healthy. And now you just put your energy towards what do I need to do to get new clients and so on and so forth. So by changing your perspective, it diminishes the overwhelm. The fifth thing to do to feel less overwhelmed is focus on the progress, not the results. Now, it's extremely important as an entrepreneur and as a person for your business and personal life to set goals and work towards achieving them. And this is something we talk about all the time on this channel. But once you set your goal and all you're looking at is that goal in itself, and then if you're not getting there as fast as you may perceive or want, then that could create certain overwhelm. Like, oh my God, I'm not good enough. How come I'm not there yet? But by changing that perspective, setting that goal and kind of forgetting about it and changing the perspective of looking at the progress in itself, that's gonna diminish that pressure and that overwhelm because you're gonna look at the growth that you're having every single day. Because in fact, a lot of people overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they're gonna do in a decade. This is the long play. So once you change that perspective, your overwhelm will diminish significantly and you'll just look at your progress. And if you're progressing properly, then you will succeed. And there's ways to go about this by breaking down your goals in manageable steps and concentrating on that progress aspect of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some tricks on how to diminish your overwhelm as an entrepreneur. And as much as I did this video for you guys, I honestly did it for myself as well as I was dealing through overwhelm lately and I figured out these tricks and I realized that you have so much more control of your overwhelm than you think or you perceive in itself. So the question today is, which one of these tricks are the one that resonated the most with you? Comment it down below because as you commented, you're gonna be able to retain that information so much better and we're gonna start a great conversation on that and with the community. Furthermore, there's some more videos over here that could interest you. The first one is on my playlist on entrepreneurship. Over here, you have my peak performance mindset series. And over here, you have my book review series. And you have my profile picture. You guys can click subscribe and join the family. I hope you have a blessed and grateful day.